You do realize, Sergeant, that I had a plot of breathtaking ingenuity lined up for this movie. Sorry. Huh? And now, it ends up in the bin. Drake. You're welcome into my home. I'm here to see Mr. Bear. Any good? No. Bit of red eye. All right, Sergeant. Who have we got? The cook was in the hat shop on the day of the murder. It was my day off, sir. I always buy a new hat on my day off. You have many days off? I don't know, sir. I'd have to count my hats. And the gardener? His beard was held on by strings. That doesn't make him a murderer. But it does make him weird. Let's get these back to the lab and we'll run some detailed tests. All right. Thanks, Jack. If we find any more bodies, I'll let you know. And another body, sir. Jack. Can you describe the culprit? It was a seagull. <laughs> what colour was it? Seagull coloured. What did it sound like? It sounded like a seagull. A seagull feather? Likely origin. A seagull. And we've left the weirdest till last, sir. Friend of yours? Yes, sir. It's Mr. Tiggles. That's no child, sir. I wouldn't be surprised if she had three sixes stamped on her head. Hello, Mr. Tiggles. How are you today? He's not real, sir. Doesn't make sense. But of course it does, sir. The case goes to trial, the witnesses refuse to testify, and Eddie goes free. Exactly. So why kill them? Seagull is underway. Tango, Tango, go to Charlie. There's a dark secret hidden away somewhere in that house, and I intend to find it. But out. Sir, you need to take a look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, listen up. This man has been on the run for two days. Our fugitive is a traveling rug salesman. Go get him.